Stand under the stained glass and I won't know it's you. Metal Scholars, this beautiful line opens up the beautiful and haunted world of Joss. And the first line, I'm so used to being with you. You know, that's what it means to me. I, I, I know you. Uh, I don't have to see you, I can feel you. Vessel might be bringing up two possibilities, picturing a lover or picturing your alter ego, your dual personality or at least a projection. It's opaque, it's hard to see things. Does it ring a bell? He's talking about his internal monologue, or maybe not. This is again the fun aspect of sleep token, multiple interpretations. The whites of your eyes, they burn from across the room. The whites of your eyes burn from across the room. Due to crying, to tears, I think he's giving you a cinematic way to portray the pain to manifest the sorrow. Or you're just watching someone cry. The whites are red due to some torn capillaries or something, you know, it's a great metaphor with the fire. And I'm not here to be the savior you long for, only the one you don't. And I'm not here to be the savior you long for, only the one you don't. Who wants to be saved? And Pats do. That's why they're easy prey for a narcissist. I don't know if he's writing from the perspective of the empath, or if he's writing from the perspective of a significant other, or we could go to the concept of sleep being in an abusive character. Sleep representing the ideal love, the romanticized perfection of a relationship that would never happen because we're all flawed by design. But here's clear to me that someone's looking for a Jesus, a savior, a God, just like, please save me, I'm lost. But many times in life, when you're that vulnerable, you become what? Easy prey. It's the perfect time for a predator, a narcissist in this case, to jump in and to promise you lots. And then you quickly fall in love and then you're screwed three months down the line or six months down the line. And are you watching me with eyes of a predator? As you move towards the door. Are you watching me with eyes of a predator as you move towards the door? Like I said, you know, because he's singing, watching me. It does point to himself just being the victim and sleep or whoever he worships being the perpetrator. But this seems maybe about someone who threatens to leave the relationship and the empath who's always afraid of being abandoned will suffer. And again, this is Vessel being genius with his choice of words. Show me those pretty white jaws. Show me where the delicate stops. Well, this sounds like someone who is provoking the other person. He's saying what, you know, is he the victim? Is he the bully? Is that sleep? It's hard to tell. We can definitely gauge the impact of that provocation though. You know, the main goal here is to tell the other person, hey, let your animal out, let loose, let's fight dirty. This is the argument. This is where we hurt each other. This will get bloody. Show me where your delicate stops. What's the tipping point here? Or uh, what do I say? What do I have to do? What do I have to say in order to turn you into that primal being that you're gonna really pry your jaw and you're gonna show me your teeth and your teeth are gonna become weapons. Show me what you lost. Show me your wounds. Show me love. So this part, you know, show me love, that's super important because it begs you to question, is there love without dissent, without a fight, without hate? How do you know, how do you show what love is if you don't really know what the opposite is? How do you differentiate light from the dark, a good from the bad? So. The chorus is inviting you to show your true colors. Well, he continues to develop the idea of the animal in a cage. So this time like Smashing Pumpkins, you know, the spite of my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. This is actually a good way to put it because Vessel is saying, hey, we are locked, we're caged, we're just always provoked. And this is a song mostly about provocation from the perspective of the prey because it's left unattended, or from the perspective of the bully, because it's constantly feeling like they're not able to let it out. It's basically the chorus begging you to show, saying, I do care, okay? When you don't show, uh, when you're like 
jaded and senseless and numb. You're incapable of empathy and feeling. You become detached, void, similar to that character from uh, Albert Camus in all uh, the book L'Etranger. Emotionally detached, he's a nihilist, insensitive. And that is apparently something that haunts either sleep or vessel. The fact that you have pain or pleasure, at least these things are felt. The problem is when you simply don't feel anything. It's like being underwater or being awake but somewhat in a coma. And that sensation pops up in various situations with sleep token. And we'll get there, fellow mental scholars, because that's something that we're always chasing. That's it for me today. Please like and subscribe if you can. Please let me know what your feelings are on Jaws. And I think this one is one of the best tracks ever because it's got this, you know, a hodgepodge of sleep token. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got like thread and needle. It's got Nazareth vibes. And it meets modern sleep with uh, Take Me Back to Eden. Again, Thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Till then, embrace tonight. I'm signing out. Bye now.